and Colonel Townsend Waylands on your own in the wilderness, he dedicates all of chapter five to the two good hiking packs. He describes the frame rucksack as a Bergen's type sack and the Alaskan pack board. In this series of videos, I'm gonna make an Alaskan pack board and I hope you'll follow along with me. This pack board is constructed uh, from just a few pieces of wood, two and a half inches wide and a half inch thick. I've already planed these down. Um, I looked for something with a nice vertical grain. I'm not sure if this is fir or spruce, but that'll help uh, prevent the boards from twisting and warping. And I went with a soft wood just to try to save a little bit of weight. Overall, I've cut two boards to 28 inches in length. I've marked them three inches from the bottom and six inches from the top of these two boards. And then I've set them up in the position where they are 16 and a half inches wide at the base and 13 inches wide at the top. In Colonel Whalen's book, he actually cuts these boards at an angle and just butt joints them to the sides of the, frame, of the pack frame. Uh, I've looked at other drawings and my initial idea also was that these would be stronger if they were actually cut and recessed in. That way, uh, the glue joint will be long joint to long joint and also there won't be that torquing on the end. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put the brackets on, but what, what I'm gonna do now is set these boards up on my marks and mark them, which will create a one and 16 inch angled line. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut those a half inch down, chisel them out, which is a little more work and perhaps why he marked it a different way in his drawing. Uh, then we can fit those boards and form up the pack, just trimming the loose ends off. I've now marked with a knife where all these cuts will be made. And the next step is to mark the depth of the cuts using a gauge that we'll set to the width of the cross member boards. Fortunately, my workbench is a mess, so I'll just be doing these on the uh, balance on the table saw. The trick is to leave your, your waste outside and then simply make these short cross cuts. As perpendicular as possible down to your scribe line.
bench truck wouldn't be flying that easily. But we'll go ahead and use it now. And I'm gonna chisel just a little bit up from the line because these can split and run pretty easily in the soft wood. With the frame dry fit, we're almost ready to assemble it. But before we do that, I like to knock off the top corners a little bit. Uh, it's easier to do this with the pieces separated than it is assembled, so. some kind of template, just mark out a rounded corner. At 
this simple work can be done in several different ways. Uh, sawing it with a bow saw, or my preference is just to hang these two together and work the corner off with the draw knife. Made rasp is a great way to finish and smooth this cut. Starting with the coarse one and then finishing up with the fine one. Gone ahead and set up a countersinking bit. It's a little bit shorter than the length of some brass screws that I have. Uh, I'd considered using some flathead brass screws. They'd look really uh, age appropriate, but I don't have ones that fit the bracket and they're a little bit hard to find flathead screws. So we're just gonna go ahead and use Phillips heads. Um, all this will be covered in canvas anyway. So to start out, we're gonna just go ahead and glue these long grain joints. Uh, the glue's not probably strictly necessary, but, and it's certainly a more modern formula than the high glue that would have been used at that time, but I think we'll just put a little in to add some rigidity. We want these heads countersunk so that they don't rub on the canvas. We'll be stretching over this frame.
with the frame glued and screwed together, we can saw off the overhangs. Fortunately, this back saw is just deep enough to reach those. However, I don't know that it will work on the six inch side quite as well. Nope, we'll have to change methods for this side. I lost uh, the video footage of my last little bit of work here, but all I did was use a block plane to chamfer all the edges and then coat the pack frame with paste wax. So that pretty well finishes up the pack frame. As you can see, everything just has a nice rounded edge where it won't cut the canvas when it's installed and everything is brought, brought flush and true. Uh, the only other thing I might do to the pack frame is to put some corner brackets in here. That was part of the design in the book. And then the leather shoulder straps will have to go on before the canvas as well. Uh, so please look for the next video. The pack frame is ready for canvas and shoulder straps and those will be the next few videos. Thanks for watching.